Hello and welcome to the new Power BI tutorial video and in this video I will going to show you how you can create this fiscal quarter based on the fiscal date. So fiscal date, creation of fiscal date as I have shown in my earlier video is very easy. Just give it a name fiscal calendar and uh, in that calendar auto and just put three, right? So this is the table that we created with the help of a new table function and what it creates, it's the date that is based on the uh, fiscal period end month. So end month is if let's say March, we are giving three. So the fiscal period will starting from 1st April 2016. So this is taking based on the existing sample superstore data set that we are having and I'll show you in a minute how you can get it. So with that, with the help of that, I showed you in my previous video with the help of this fiscal date, how you can create the fiscal year, right? To get, if it is 2016, then what is your fiscal year 2016 and 17, so on and so forth for rest of the calculation. Now in this video, I'll show you how you can create the fiscal quarter calculation from scratch so that you can easily understand it. Before that, just a quick information that this Power BI uh, Google Sheet is present in the description. What it has, as you can see, is the title of each of my video that I have published on YouTube, along with the link that is present in the column B. So the idea is that you can come over here, search, filter any of the video that you need and jump on to the video using the link present in the column B. You can easily bookmark it so that you can reference it whenever you need it. And I will continue updating this sheet just so that Everything is present at one simple place in a simple, easy and easy to search or easy to filter manner. Along with that, the uh, data set which I use is this Power BI Sample Superstore Sales. This is under the Power BI folder of data set, right? So make sure if you need it, uh, you are here and getting it. Also, as you can see, I keep, I try to keep my dashboard related files over here so that you can come and download the dashboard files which I have used in my uh, which I have uploaded on my channel. With that, let's move on to the Power BI. Okay, so here we are into the Power BI and within that, what I'll do is I'll show you right from the scratch by creating a new column as to how I can create, this time let me call it QTR so that both these names are not same, right? So in this case, what we were going to do is we will say fiscal quarter equals to and we will be going to use the switch function switch if it is true, so by default it will be true and uh, because we just need the extraction out of the months. So what do we need is, uh, let's move on to the first of all next line and we say we want to find the month from date, right? So this is my date and if this month is in the 4, 5, 6 because fiscal year, fiscal month is starting from April. In our case, so 456 represents the first quarter. So simply put it under the bracket and say QTR1. Okay. And uh, Alt Enter and say month and then date. Right. Simple performing in. And we have 789, 7, 789. Then we will say QTR2, comma, Alt Enter. When we say month, date bracket close within the 10 um, 11 and 12 then it will be what qtr 3 right comma alt enter finally it will be qtr 4 we don't have to specify any condition because 4 is the 4 are the overall quarter that you are having at close this so that's all what you need and if i click ok you will see that the calculation is coming so april may june right is coming here so from 1st of july q to quarter 2 is started so on and so forth for your calculation so that's how you can create your quarter fiscal quarter related calculation right from the scratch based on the fiscal month that is that basically calendar auto creates all these dates for you enough fiscal based on when the fiscal month is ending if you specify that it will give you the start date of the fiscal uh, quad fiscal year and start producing the values so that's what i wanted to show you let me know if you have any question with that i'll meet you in the next video which i'll show you how you can also create the fiscal month